How does Mihawk sit with this massive sword on his back? Now, I can't answer that mysterious question, but there are some questions I can definitely provide some answers to. Because I've gathered 45 facts about Dracula Mihawk that you probably didn't know. But one of these facts is actually incorrect. Can you find which one it is? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Did you know that Mihawk has been the victim to a number of changes by the 4Kids animation? They shortened his sword guard, changed his cross necklace to an eye, his drinking scene with Shanks was edited out, but by far the best and funniest one is the French accent they gave him. Is that right? A duel with me? And if having multiple accents aren't weird enough, in the original Japanese animation, Mihawk was voiced by the late Takeshi Aono, the same voice actor as Whoop Slap before the voice actor's death in 2012. Since then, he has been voiced by Hirohiko Kakegawa, who also voices Hamburg. Did you know that the small raft that Mihawk travels in is called Hitsugibune? When translated to English, this literally means coffin boat, which makes perfect sense because when looked at from above, it does resemble a funerary box. In the One Piece global popularity poll released in 2021, Mihawk ranked at number 30 overall, making him one of the most popular characters in the world. But did you know, despite being one of the more popular characters in the series, Mihawk has never once featured on a volume cover? I'm sure in time this will change once we get more screen time of the world's strongest swordsman. Mihawk is one of only two of the original warlords who don't have a a devil fruit, the other one being the current straw hat helmsman Jinbei. You may already know that Mihawk is a former warlord of the sea, but did you know that he's the only member of the original group of warlords whose original frozen bounty was never revealed? His current bounty, however, is a whopping figure of 3.59 billion berry, giving Mihawk the highest known bounty of a non Yonko character. And in fact, this great amount is even higher than two of the current emperors. Emperors, Luffy and Buggy. Luffy who only has a bounty of 3 billion berry and Buggy with a 3.189 billion berry. Also making Mihawk the only pirate with a bigger bounty than his captain. A higher bounty isn't the only thing Mihawk has over the other Yonko. His skills as a swordsman also surpasses that of Red Hair Shanks. Holding the title of world's strongest swordsman, Mihawk fittingly owns Yoru, a supreme grade sword which which is the highest rank given for the 12 highest quality blades in the world. Yoru in Japanese means knight, and this is a very fitting name as it is a black blade, making it stronger and more resilient than an ordinary sword. Mihawk is the only known living character who has turned his sword into a black blade. The only other known character who was able to achieve this in the series was legendary sword god Ryuma. As a proud swordsman, Mihawk won't use Yoru against Against just anyone, and only worthy opponents get to fight against Yoru. Which is why when he first dueled Zoro at Baratie, Mihawk first used a smaller blade called Kogatana, and only used Yoru after acknowledging Zoro as a worthy challenger. While we can only imagine the full extent of how strong Yoru really is, we've at least been shown that it is strong enough to slice a meteor, as seen in the One Piece film Stampede. Something we don't have to imagine, is what Yoru would look like if it was a human. That's because in SBS Volume 95, One Piece creator Echiro Oda drew both Yoru and Kogatana in human form. And if Yoru was a human, she would be known as Yoruko, the cool older sister of Kogatana's human form, or Makeko. It's no surprise that Mihawk came to hold the title of World's Strongest Swordsman since Mihawk started practicing his swords play from a very young age. This was seen in SBS SBS Volume 63, where Mihawk looks as fierce as ever, ready to smack down anyone who gets in his way using only a boken, which translated means wooden sword. Did you know that Mihawk was already famous at a young age? In fact, his Vivraka tells us that even before the Great Age of Piracy, he had already gained fame for defeating stronger opponents and challenging more and more powerful foes until he had no more worthy opponents. One of his previous opponents was Shanks, who was perhaps Mihawk's greatest rival. According to the late legend Whitebeard, news of their duels used to echo across the Grand Line. However, Mihawk lost interest in fighting Shanks after Shanks lost his arm to save Luffy. Mihawk's only goal in life is to be defeated by another 
swordsman in combat, which is why he now waits for another skilled swordsman who will emerge to surpass the likes of Shanks and perhaps even himself. And Mihawk is even willing to wait for Zoro to achieve this feat. Talk about a love story. With finding and dueling a worthy swordsman being his only passion and goal, Mihawk would spend most of his time sailing the seas for fun, hoping to find a worthy challenger. In fact, if there was another strong swordsman who was good enough to keep Mihawk occupied, then Mihawk would probably not have met Zoro, as he states that he only followed Krieg to Baratier for fun. Did you know that Mihawk has never been seen to receive even a single scratch in the series? He's also one of the strongest characters in One Piece who does not have any visible scars. Mihawk is the subject of a number of fan theories. One of the most popular theories is related to his unique eyes. Some fans believe Mihawk is related to Emu due to their eyes looking quite similar. Another popular theory is that Mihawk is the son of the late Pirate King's right-hand man, Silver's Rayleigh, and Shaki, the former Empress of Amazon Lily. According to his Viver card, Mihawk only became a warlord just so he could travel freely on his own to continue his quest of finding strong opponents. In fact, before forming Cross Guild, Mihawk was one of only very few pirates without a crew, which is even more impressive when you consider how he managed to reach the Grand Line despite being a lone wolf. And I'm not even sure we can classify Mihawk as a pirate because he doesn't even have a Jolly Roger. Although we may know the reason for why Mihawk became one of the warlords, we don't know why Mihawk became a pirate. What we do know is that he was once known for being a marine hunter, which ironically, Zoro was once a pirate hunter. Meaning that in a strange twist of fate, Zoro, who used to hunt pirates, became one, and Mihawk, who used to hunt marines, would later go on to join the world government as a warlord, intensifying their relationship as some sort of star-crossed lovers. Mihawk just wants to have a quiet and relaxing life. In fact, Zeph speculated that he may have destroyed Don Creek's fleet of 50 ships and 5,000 pirates just because they interrupted his nap, possibly giving Mihawk the highest kill count in the series. But aside from swords play and napping, Mihawk actually shares a hobby with Zoro's other rival Sanji, with Mihawk shown to be an excellent cook. And according to his Viver card, Mihawk's favorite drink is red wine, which I imagine he drinks alongside his own delicious home-cooked meals. In fact, Mihawk is quite interested in agriculture, as we saw in the cover page of chapter 826, where Mihawk is shown farming, even wearing a straw hat. Speaking of straw hat, Mihawk is only one of the only characters portrayed to be unfazed at the news that Straw Hat Luffy is Monkey D. Dragon's son. And did you know that Mihawk was present at Goldie Roger's execution? And noticeably, his younger self didn't sport a beard at the time, making you wonder, at what point did he decide to change his style? Because Mihawk's style is indeed very important to his character, as his design is likely a reference to Bam Stroker Dracula, which is also the influence for his name, Dracul Mihawk. His nickname Hawkeyes, however, comes from the fact that Mihawk's eyes resemble that of a hawk. But did you know that before Oda came up with Hawkeyes, another idea for Mihawk's epithet was Clairvoyant, which is perhaps a hint that Mihawk will have some sort of ridiculous future sight. But I'm glad that Hawkeyes won in the end because it sounds much cooler. Mihawk's eyes are also very unique, being only one of three characters in the entire series who have double layered irises. The other two being Imu and Karubu, or four characters if you count Zunisha's eyes from the anime. Mihawk's height is 198 centimeters, or 6 foot 6 inches. This is the same height as Michael Jordan, and just a bit taller than the average height of an NBA shooting guard. Mihawk was 41 years old when the series started, and is currently 43 years old, making him the same age as Luffy currently at 19 years old when Roger died. His birthday is on March 9th, which is the same birthday as Shanks, making Mihawk a Pisces and birthday twins with his former rival. Frankie also shares a birthday with these two as a third wheel. Mihawk lives on Kuragaina Island, which is the former home of the now fallen Shikikadao Kingdom, living mostly alone apart from the human drills who inhabited the forest on the island. He was briefly joined by Zoro and Perot 
Kona, both of whom were sent there by fellow former warlord Bartholomew Kuma using his devil fruit powers. Kuraigana Island is also where Mihawk became Zoro's teacher, training Zoro for two years. And while proving to be a great teacher as seen through Zoro's improvement post time skip, he was also a very strict teacher as he was shown to forbid Zoro from drinking any alcohol until he fully mastered the ability to coat his sword with armament haki. Mihawk's blood type is S, which coincidentally is also the blood type of another one of Zoro's mentors, Shimotsuki Kushiro, and his late daughter and Zoro's rival, Kuina. So maybe it's not a coincidence after all, and Zoro just attracts people with this blood type. And the final fact about Mihawk, did you know that Mihawk would make for a very beautiful woman? When Oda drew each of the warlords in a gender swap, we see Mihawk would have made a very fine and fair swordswoman. And there you have it, 45 facts about Dracul Mihawk. Did you know all of these facts? How many new facts did you learn? Let me know by leaving a comment below or let me know any other facts you think I may have missed. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future One Piece facts. This is Joy Girl and I'll see you again soon.